captured near Florida in 1820 with 283 slaves aboard, leading to the antelope case, Aurore, another with Duke Domain, the first French slave ship that brought the first slaves to Louisiana, the Amistad, general purpose cargo ship that also carried slaves on occasion. A successful slave revolt on ship gave rise to a case that reached the Supreme Court in the United States. Brooks, sailing in the 1780s, city of Norfolk, fitted out in New York, city by Albert Horn. Coltida burned and sunk in, the 1859, in 1859 or 1860. Mundele historians are not quite sure. But years later, on the Bantu awakening, generations later, Antonio and Ella Manning would return to the land of their ancestry. The last time their ancestors left this continent, they left on slave ships. So for the first time on Bantu Re-Education TV, Bayete, my king, Bayete, my queen. Greetings. Thank you, King yes. Brother. Yes, it's that time when we are joined by Barnabeto to rightly divide the word of truth. And on this channel, as we always say, when a king or a queen is speaking, we listen. So take us back. A few years before this moment, the build up. We want to know it, the journey, the awakening. Speak to Barnabeto. Yes. Um, uh, it was in 2019 um, when we began to be awakened. Um, we started, I was actually sitting in a service and Tatum Nazami began to deal with me um, concerning some things and my husband and I, we began to have private conversations just amongst him and myself because you know we, we were Christian pastors as well so we began to talk about things as Tati Nizami began to deal with us so in talking about some things not realizing that Tati Nizami was also dealing with our children so it was like when we came together to talk about you know that the Most High had been dealing with us about some things not being right and, and, and about some deception. They let us know that they had also, the Most High had also been dealing with them as well. So it was like a mutual, you know, it was nothing where we had to try to, try to get them to understand, you know, that there was a possibility that we had been, you know, believing wrong, but he had also been dealing with our children as well. So he, he pretty much woke us all up at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like I said, being Christian pastors, um, I actually grew up, my grandmother was my pastor and um, grew up in Christianity, been in church all my life. Um, I've actually been preaching since I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Gift of prophecy, all of it. 
So, you know, and we we use the name um, Jesus, but, you know, now we, we just say JC um, because we don't want to give him that reverence. <laughs> so we say JC. And we've been, you know, been praying. We, we knew that there were many times that we prayed and the prayers were answered, but only because the Bible began, you know, we began to learn that the book of Acts talks about how he winked at our ignorance. Mm-hmm. So touching the zombie was so good that even though we were calling on the wrong name in which we should have been praying to, you know, he was touching the zombie was still good to answer mm-hmm. our prayers because he knew that we did not know. So um, the more we begin to, you know, get this urgency that we need to, you know, start researching Mm -hmm. some things, we begin to run into different people on uh, YouTube, such as Apostle Charmaine and some others. But even before her, we had kind of, I think, ran into some that was talking about the Hebrew movement, you know. So we went from JC to Yahusha Hamashiach. But something still just didn't resonate with that. Yeah. So we continued to research and we began to listen to different ones. It was just not, not enough for us to listen. And we often tell people to research. Mm-hmm. Don't just take people's word for it. Research. The truth is there. It's out there. Mm-hmm. You just got to search for it. And I tell people, just don't, don't depend just on that King James Version. Yeah. Because that book has been manipulated. Mm-hmm. It has been changed. It has been altered. And it has been manipulated because it was handed to our ancestors it, it was a book that was given to them to keep them even though they thought they were being made free it kept that book was there to keep them in mental slavery yes so but as we began to you know listen to apostle Charmaine and um robert headley and michael uh, massa and, 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 and you know we we, we took everything <laughs> Yes. And we just, you know, we took what we heard and we, we prayed about it and we began, like I said, began to research and oh boy, oh boy, everything just started making sense. It was like a puzzle being put together. Yes. <laughs> Keep finding different pieces. <laughs> because, you know, we grew up being told that we were Gentiles. Um, you know, we were growing up all this time thinking mm-hmm. we were Gentiles. When in actuality to learn that we are the, the actual thing. Been two people, the true people of the most high touch and the zon. Woo! Kimbo, Kimbo. Uh, Kimbo, Kimbo. We, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and when we read now, you know, it's we, we see it yes. from a different perspective. When we study, yes. we realize that, you know, the book is our history. Yes. You know, for so long, we only knew about grandma and grandpa, maybe great grandma, but no, yes. that the, the, the word is our history. Whew. And it was just I so exciting. And, and once you learn the truth, it makes you want to learn more truth. So we just, man, we just, we stay, we stay in the word. We, we stay seeking the most high. <laughs> Kimbo, Kimbo. Uh, yeah. My king brother, Antonio, we have a Bantu proverb where there's a friend one does not call. They come of their own volition. Now, through this journey, um, in Christianity, uh, who, who do you find has been the main researcher, or if you would say the main protagonist against the beast system in your family setting? You, you're going in and out. We're having a hard time. Can you repeat that? Um, where did you lose me? Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, uh, network. I, I, I think they, 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 um, they're doing whatever they do with their networks. So my question was to you, uh, my king brother, Antonio. Uh, there's a Bantu proverb where there's a friend one does not need to call. They come of their own volition. So... Uh, in your family setting, because we see that when Tatan Zambi is awakening you, he's awakening this unit. So my, uh, my question was, who has been the main protagonist against this beast system uh, between uh, uh, you, my king, and you, my queen? Like in the research, the aggressive, uh, like 
you need to see this you need to see this you need to see this who has been the the the, the guiding part <laughs> all of us <laughs> yeah we all we all are searching and once we find something you know we bring it to each other share it. share it with everybody so that everybody learns the truth at the same time. At, yeah at the same time because anybody anybody seeing they can see that connection so now you have come to this truth you've gone um we've kept all the feasts in the in the northern hemisphere in the hebrew camps you know we've uh we are waking there's something now you, you you're able to connect um you've gotten the word through people like uh the king brother elder robert headley yanata shilombo now when does it get to the point you yeah. decide i'm leaving is the babylon i'm leaving babylon it's when breaking it up again okay um we rebuke whatever they are trying to do in the name of sonini nani <laughs> <laughs> So um when, when did it get to the point that you want to you move from America to Tanzania because I I believe you're in Tanzania right now. Now we, you've taken us across the journey. Yes. Uh, through to the awakening. Now <laughs> take us to the Exodus. <laughs> so, yeah, we are and some in back to about 2020 we uh we had already started talking about um coming you know coming over over here so we we're looking at different places and you know we're still researching uh different countries you know Tanzania and Kenya and Ghana and all those and we had um uh, while we're still you know doing that mm -hmm. you know and then talking amongst each other and then we uh started selling because you know time got we start uh selling things you know making up a mind that we you know once we made up a mind we were going to you know come over we start selling stuff you know getting rid of possessions that we had over there and then once we got rid of uh most of all of our possessions then we decided yeah it's time <laughs> and at this at, at this juncture uh fr friends what how did the your friends respond to this did they think you're crazy because here you are selling everything you want to live for africa uh and we know the images that have been projected about africa so how was the response uh, to this because we want to we, we we want to go through that journey with you you know because bantus around his creation within or without the continent mm -hmm. are waking up and they need to understand this is the path you know we are not saying it's mm -hmm. a one size fits all but we want them to right. go yeah. that journey you know because you are his inspiration and i know we just we just scratching the surface here we'll get to the to to the to, you know what i'm talking about and i'm so excited about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did they respond well we really didn't tell too many people so uh it was easy <laughs> <laughs> now people people did notice you know that we were selling our things um cuz we was using uh social media to post a lot of things that we have for sale you know and somebody even made a comment why is this woman selling all her stuff you know somebody being funny said um cuz they ain't got no money you know we just you know let them talk we knew yeah. what but we knew what we were doing let them um, go here with <laughs> yeah, it was actually in October of 2020 that we decided that look, we we've got to go because we had been reading, the more we had been studying mm -hmm. and hearing about hearing about Babylon and realizing that we were in Babylon mm -hmm. that we had to get up out of there. 
because yeah. we knew that we knew that judgment according to the word judgment was going to fall mm -hmm. we knew that and we did not want to be over there when judgment fell we wanted to we wanted to become home we wanted to come back to our roots because yeah. this is africa is home this yeah. is home yes yeah, so we are africans first <laughs> our ancestors you know they were shipped off and you know my we king, lost all trace of our history my king so we, now we, it has come to light, my king, my queen, it has come to light that the name Africa is not even a brand we want to wear. We recognize ourselves <laughs> as Embo Kingdom, or if you prefer, the United Kingdom of Abraham. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sub Saharan like Africa, <laughs> the land of promise. So, my queen, now you here you are, covert operation, Exodus. Hush, hush, everything is sold. You've squared uh -huh. with your bank. Let's book the ticket. Where did you start? We um, decided to leave in October. We actually took our first flight ever. On ever. Flight, ever. Because <laughs> we, we had said we would never get on a plane. I always say that we never. would never do it. <laughs> and we, in a way, we began to, you know, research, see what we need to do. Uh, I booked all the flights um, in February, beginning of February, and we left um, February the 17th yep. of this year. And Kimble, we, we Kimble. came on over. Um, and I have to even say that even after that second flight, I was so concerned about those planes <laughs> that I said, I don't know. I might need to turn around and go back because I just, you know. <laughs> but I was like, if I don't go now, that's the only way I'm going to get there. So I went ahead and I, I prayed and I got my strength together and I talked to so many and I and we, we made it. We made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My queen. My queen. That, how else can we define passion if not that? Because I, I imagine myself in that position first time on a plane i'm going home for the first time mm -hmm. <laughs> to a place <laughs> i have never seen so we know how it must have felt for obama leaving everything behind you're going in and out i'm sorry so we must know now how it felt for obama abrahama ibrahama oh, if okay. you <laughs> So now, um, uh, 18 hours flight, if I'm not wrong, or you did the connection? Yes. Yes. Connections. Connections. So, Dar es Salaam, you smell the African air. My king, how was that for you? Well, it, it was uh, when we stepped, when we got off the plane, it was peaceful. You know, you could feel the peace of being at home and it felt real good. <laughs> and and amazingly to find out that Dar es Salaam means the city of peace, we, you know, we were like, wow, you know, and you could <laughs> actually feel, you know, what mm -hmm. Dar es Salaam stood for. You could feel it. You could feel the peace. Yes. Well, my queen, you are naturally connected to the land. It is the land of your ancestors. A land they stole your ancestors from, bundled them up on ships, took you to a country where you have always had to be conscious about the color of your skin. Right. You have always had to be conscious about your black identity. You're in Tanzania. Okay, um, can you hear me now? Yes. So yes, now it's better. Okay, now you, you get to Tanzania. You have lived in the US all all, all your life. You've had you've always had a bullseye on your back, whether economically, yes. socially, whatever strata. It's it's hard for the black man. Then you're in Tanzania. Everybody else looks like you. How is that feeling? Yes. How did you adjust? <laughs> did you feel? Did you feel 
uh, out of place did you feel? How was that? Nah, it, it felt good, you know, being being amongst uh, your people. Yes. You know, and you don't have to watch your back. You know, every now and then I still uh, sit with my back up against the wall because of <laughs> because of being over there. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I love being here. You know, I don't have to watch my back because I have people here just like me. And then the cops here, you know, is is better than the ones over there because they're just like me. <laughs> and now and not only that, if I may add, there's a sense now you feel more included. Uh-huh. Included. The sense of inclusion. When you see when the majority of the people around you look like you, mm -hmm. you feel a sense of inclusion. The Whereas spirit. in the state, as you stated, in the states, you know, we like I said, we had to keep watching our bag. You know, my son would leave, or even even my my daughters. And then you, the way they're killing our black people, you know, it just kept you in praying that your family would get home safe. Kembo kembo na tata nzambi. So now um, you've connected with the people. This is a distinct culture. Um, perhaps you imported some western values if we may call them some western traits one example that you're finding hard to adapt to for the viewers you know i always tell my guests here uh prepare to be asked the hard questions because <laughs> by the words of your testimony we conquer and banabeto get to know you know it's not the rumblings of mad men behind computers uh -huh. it is a reality right you know, it is, yeah. it is the beauty of a people connecting not just with their ancestral lands, but their ancestral spirituality, the proper ancestral mm -hmm. spirituality. But we are still, we are, that is not going to allow you leeway out of my question. Western values, which one are you having a hard time living or Adapting to things in the Western world. Well, um, things that I'm having a harder time with uh, is uh, the driving over here. <laughs> 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 the driving over here is a little different from it from over there. <laughs> it, it makes you it makes you scared to get your license over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll, you'll get used to it. It's a system that has worked for us. <laughs> so, you, when you are in Embo land, you do as they do. <laughs> because if you can't join, <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> and believe me, in, 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 in about a few months, you'll be navigating and then there'll be somebody complaining Look at this driver, he doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We must laugh. We must laugh because it is a joyous occasion. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Now I, I will say that um what's difficult for me is is learning the language. Mm -hmm. I want to I definitely want to learn the language because it is our language. Yes. Um but I don't know, I used to feel, I feel like because I can't make my tongue roll that I'm not going to say certain things properly the right way. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's going to add to my struggle in learning to speak it. But I do desire to learn um, Swahili, that I do desire to learn the language. Yeah, we both the, the want beauty, to learn the beauty, the language. The beauty of the one we serve. So Nini Nanini Somandla, the mighty one. Of Ibrahama, Isaka, and Yakubi. Father Almighty, Tatanzambe, Mpungu Tolendo, the everlasting one. It's so beautiful. I love it. Not <laughs> confined to human bars. And I remind you, my king and queen, 
our ancestor Yosef sojourned in Kemet, what they call Egypt. In one night, you know, we, we're not going to pretend that we read the 62 books, 66. Uh -huh. we, read, uh -huh. we do actually read the scrolls, the Bantu scrolls, because uh -huh. it is our history. Right. Mm -hmm. And we don't need any institution telling us what part of our history is right for us. That's right. Mm -hmm. We don't know what they served for lunch at the Council of Nicene. Mm -hmm. Nor do we care to know the what color of toga Constantine won. Mm -hmm. What we want is the restoration of our history. And we are seeing Tatanzambe restore this. So what I'm telling you, my king and queen, he gave yourself 80 plus languages. What wow. Is <laughs> wow. For him. You just need to mingle with the people. You know, right. mm -hmm. go to the market, get your fresh vegetables, you know. Try and blend mm -hmm. in. Don't 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 act out of place, you know. Right, uh -huh. right. And, and 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 sometimes if you're if you're in the streets, you know, uh, and someone shoves you and they're not polite about it. You know, you might want to shove them back. You know, it's an established tradition. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are Bantu. We are a peaceful people, but we <laughs> we must laugh because we've seen miracles, mm -hmm. my king, and we've heard of miracles. Bantus don't hear of miracles. They see miracles. Mm -hmm. Tell Banabeto what Tatan Zambi did for you. In healing. Oh, yeah, he, uh, when I got here and, you know, start eating the food over here, I I left my um, CPAP machine in the States. And since I've been here, I haven't had any problems uh, with it, you know, my energy, um, with sleeping. I've, uh, I'm not on my um, high blood pressure, you know, medicine. If I, you know, feel some type of way, uh, just, Take some apple cider vinegar, put it in the water, drink it, and I'm good. Kembo kembo na tata nzambi, kembo kembo na tata nzambi. My king, my queen, uh, have you tried any of the street food? The street yeah, food. Yeah, street food. The street food. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yes, I will say so. We went to a, a place called Rosh the Land, and we mm -hmm. ate some some. Well, he had jerk chicken, but you know, we were kind of accustomed to that. <laughs> um, I did try. I, <laughs> I did. <laughs> and he has to get I that chicken jerky. Some... <laughs> <laughs> I did try some um, goat for the first time. Curry mm -hmm. goat. Curry goat. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was delicious. We we really enjoyed that. Um, what else? We had we really not too much, mm -hmm. but uh, we're gonna get. We're gonna get around to to try a little more. <laughs> yeah, because that's that's one of the things I'll have to recommend. I don't know. It's like uh, when the food hits the streets, it takes on another taste of its own. I don't know. It's his land. Mm -hmm. Who am I to question? <laughs> <laughs> My king, my, my, my I love queen. Him. As I, I said, the, uh, it is it is a joyous occasion. We have to celebrate. As a son yes. and a daughter of the land have returned home, and we have <laughs> to. Sana. We're glad to be here. We Matondo so Masaka, here. Matondo Masaka. So, my king, <laughs> <laughs> now um, you have sold everything. Uh, you've left your station or whatever was your upkeep. Mm -hmm. You know, 
here you are gotten on a plane with your the family members this is something you'll also be telling mm-hmm. our viewers about because my do you have a story my king my queen an instant inspiration so um we've gone to the food the culture the food the culture and then i was asking you mm-hmm. you you've left your station in the us you know whatever source of income mm-hmm. you and my queen had uh reestablishing yourself on his land how are you mm-hmm. able to do that briefly because you know yeah. we, we don't want to go so much into the details because some of these things i they kept between friends if you can remember our bantu mm-hmm. 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 yes uh well, like you said well like pretty much like he, my um like my husband said before we we so we didn't have a lot of money mm-hmm. we did not have a lot of money we sold what we had um my husband got everything out of his 401k to help us out mm-hmm. um sadly my mom my mom passed right before we came she was i had got her passport when we got ours and she was supposed to come with us so i my grandmother she had some insurance on her um i didn't even know that i was the beneficiary it wasn't a lot but you know i didn't even stay there to wait for it we left we left cuz we were trying to get home and like i said i didn't even know that um i was even a beneficiary i thought it was my aunt but there was you no know, that was just a little more than kind of you know help us out but with the way things are set up over here the money goes uh, goes further than it does mm-hmm. in the states mm-hmm. and and i'll tell people don't just rely on what you have either but trust so nene na nene hallelujah hallelujah provide for you trust him to provide for you once you get here um i'll say that with what we started out with ain't no way i think in the states it might have lasted us maybe 3 months or maybe four mm-hmm. and you're on the street yeah. tops <laughs> tops with all yeah. the bills that we had yes but we stepped out on faith my king brother we stepped out on faith trust him so nene na nene and i will tell everybody that if you step out on faith mm-hmm. he will meet you he will meet you where you are and he will provide and he will take care of his people yeah cuz you know. just just like um um abram abraham he tried him you know he tried his faith <laughs> and it takes faith when you're leaving one country and coming into a no you know to my uh, king my king make, allow me to interject at this point because when a king is speaking you cannot correct a king you can only add on to what a king is saying we abraham mm-hmm. we we are not going by whatever words they try to tell us because uh what abraham had was not faith that is confidence yes mm-hmm. confidence mm-hmm. <laughs> and yes. the best way to understand this confidence is at one point in your life you did ask the queen to be for better and for better Mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. had confidence in my king about that and that is the kind of confidence the children of sonini na nini are supposed to have in their father yes. so yes we, we pick it up at Ab- abama had confidence in the yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Much confidence. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> I Much have to confidence. sneak it in there. I have to sneak it in there. They have to know. They have to know. If it's binding, they have to know. Binding. So now we we have gotten to the good times. I always call this the icing on the cake. The most important bit. 
bana beto wa listening Antonio Bantu Kim Ella Bantu Queen address your people tell them why and how they need to get home why they need to reconnect with the Tanzambe speak to your people my king my queen Well, um, it's, it's, it's time to come home because from the, the scriptures let us know that that land is going to be destroyed and those people will be punished for what they did to, to uh, Tatan Zambi's children. And if they don't want, if they don't want to to be destroyed with them you know they need to come home because america is going to fall just like the scripture say tell them it's going to fall so, yes <laughs> yes sir cuz you know it's it's not going to stand long no you know much longer Because, and my king uh, tell them my king my king my king um something uh arising here tell them please my king we are not instilling fear in them we are not mm -hmm. no. prophets no not instilling no not instilling fear you know <laughs> you know no, they tend to say that instilling fear in you. you know they have branded But, as <laughs> occult and fear based teaching you know when they want to dismiss the bantu awakening and we are doing this for the sake of our brothers and sisters that are not awoken so we have to keep reminding yes. them you know the truth my king you know the truth my queen i know yes. the truth but they don't my king mm -hmm. yes is is this time come home <laughs> yeah the 400 the 400 years is up The 400 years is up. And the curse has been reversed. The curse has been reversed. So we we just encourage you to come back home. They've been telling us forever to go back to Africa. <laughs> now it's time to actually go. It's time to come home now. Time to come back to the United Kingdom. It's time to come home. Hallelujah, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. Banabeto, that's the morning family for you. That's Ubuntu fire. That's Ubuntu love. <laughs> you don't find that anywhere else. Only in Sonini Nanini's land. Yes. We hold these interviews because we want our brothers to know that the people that are in this awakening know the sense of urgency because yes we know what is coming but we also have confidence in who, who he who is bringing it and we are finding that a lot of people are held Oh, a lot of Banabeto are held in worship of false deities. And it's an urgent call for us to, to bring them out because time is running out. Time is running out. We are not yes. prophets. Of, yes. It's the truth. It's out there. Consume it. So my king, my queen, I am so honored that you took the time I know you're still in that decompressing mode trying to get foot <laughs> trying to get footing so yeah. I'll let you off easy today <laughs> Thank you Asante sana 
<laughs> no, I say thank you. I say thank you. I say thank you. As we continue to 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 learn the ways of our father with amazing people doing it. And I have to keep honoring these people because it's an amazing job they are doing. We have to keep remembering these people in our prayers. We have Bantu King, Elder Robert Headley. We have Bantu King, Yanata Shilombo. We have Kefas. We have Mikhail Massa. We have Bantu Queen Kim Pavita. We have Tre Oketiwe Solele. We have Ngunza Kigo. We have Murigi Wanzambe. Yeah. And oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there's so many. And forgive me if I forget your yes. name. Yes. I'll, I, I think I should get a teleprompter <laughs> just to remember this. Because I have to appreciate Banabeto because it's an amazing job. Mm-hmm. And we are saying it is one stick. When we started the show, my queen did say they listened and took what they could connect with. Pray. Mm-hmm. If any is lacking, let him pray. And when this happens, you get to enjoy some good real estate like my king and my queen. And I'm not letting you off the show without telling us about that. You're going in and out again. Uh, How is the real estate here? Mud huts? Naked children with flies. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, there, there are no mud huts here. <laughs> mud huts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the houses here is, you know, is built strong. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, it's not like they say it is. You know, there's, you know. It's not kids, you know, around, you know, flies flying around everybody's face. It's not like that. It, it's, it's, it's not. The houses here are good. Mm-hmm. We stand in a good house. Yes. You know, so come home. Hallelujah. It's definitely, it's definitely, it, yeah, it's definitely not like what they show you on TV. And um, we realized that because a long time, a long time, you know, when we heard go back to Africa, go back to Africa, but because of what we saw on TV, you know, nobody wanted to come. And now that we know the truth, that this truly is, it is the promised land um, <laughs> that was promised to Abraham and his seed. It, it's our, it's our inheritance. And we're finding out now that we were only told and shown these things because they didn't want us to come. They didn't want us to come. Mm -hmm. So they were telling us to do something that they really didn't mean. And it was uh, used as a sense of intimidation. Uh It was almost a dare. uh, My queen. uh, (laughs) So we we have to ask this. So uh, are there bodies on the streets dying from something that was planned somewhere will not you were breaking up there uh my king my queen um a question you know just for the audience we we, will brush it off you know like a good barbecue basting are there bodies lying on the street (laughs) dying of uh something they planned somewhere so that they could bring something the plan, the... Can you hear me now? Yeah, a little better, yes. yes. Uh, my question is, um, are there bodies yeah, on this? they're still messing around with it. Oh, oh yeah, they, will, they will try, they will try. It's their system. They can do with it whatever <laughs> they want, but the truth will, will, will go out there. Because I have perfectly, yes. I have perfectly fast internet. I'm sure you have perfectly fast internet, but some for, for some way since we started this interview, we've been we seem to be having glitches here and there, but we'll still do it. Yes. So now, now uh, we're talking about the pandemic. 
The pandemic. The pandemic. 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 Uh huh. Pandemic. So okay. are, are there well, uh, are there well, bodies are there bodies on the streets dying? No, oh, no. When we got when we got <laughs> off the plane, we noticed that there was nobody wearing Abs masks. Nobody wearing masks. Nobody. <laughs> and <laughs> and won't nobody look like they were sick. <laughs> no, I mean there people over here are just going on about their daily lives. Um, you know, you might see a few here and there every now and yeah. then, maybe three or four that might have a mask on. But um I'll, and I'll say this, when I was in the States, I kept issues with my breathing, always having breathing issues. I knew what was going on. I knew what was going on. But since I've been here, no respiratory issues, none. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My no breathing issues. is regular, no issues. You know, because uh -huh. with... Um, over there, you know, the spraying and all of that. Mm. And then you come over here and there's no um there's no uh, um body wearing a mask, mm -hmm. you know, and it's <laughs> it feel good, you know, to come over here and see everybody like you and well, nobody's yeah. covering up, you know, and uh normality. We live in that normality that they're talking about. They're trying to bring back. It's normality over here. Yes, <laughs> as Tatan Zambi, the mighty one, Abrahama, <laughs> Isaka, and Yakubi, continues to restore. You yes. see, it. you see it, Banabeto. Beauty, beauty, right before our eyes. Mm -hmm. I wish I had known the Ellas. I mean, I had known Antonio and Ella Manning by Bantu King and Queen before this, no. But the awakening is happening. All the way from America, mm -hmm. Tanzania. Yeah. Face is shining. And giving praises to Tata <laughs> Zambe. Come out of her. For the time is near. We are not going to prophesy a lot of things that scare you. If they are walking, we'll find them. And we'll bring them on this platform, Banabeto. And to my king and queen, <laughs> before I let you go, there's something we always ask them on this show. And that is... You're going to count so that we don't, I don't miss your cue. Um, it's a countdown of three. We are going to ask them, Ungubani. 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 What's, I don't know what that is. Yeah, we don't uh -huh. It means, who are you? You know, who are Say you? Again. It means who are you? Oh, who oh. are you? Yes. So did we you are get Bantu? We are Bantu. Yes, now we have to ask them we because Bantu. we always ask them on this show, you know, like Ungubani. Okay. <laughs> who are you? Know thyself. We are Bantu. We are Bantus. <laughs> you had it, Banabeto. You had it. Not my words. <laughs> Their words, my king, <laughs> my queen. It has been an honor. When we reached out, you responded with nothing short of Ubuntu spirit. Bantu Education TV thanks you for this inspiration to Banabeto. And you, Banabeto, if you're watching this, share it. Let them know. We have done our part. Now it's for you to do your part. This awakening doesn't belong to anybody. 
It's not my awakening. Mm -hmm. It doesn't belong to anybody. It's Tatan Zambi's awakening. Yes. Mm -hmm. We unite under one stick. We need to listen to each other. Those on the continent, those that are coming, yes. this is their land. Those that are coming, there are people on this land. Yes. Let's leave the West mm -hmm. to the West. Mm -hmm. Those in Emboland, let's behave. These are our brothers and sisters. Coming out of slavery, I need your support. Show them around. Make them feel at home. It's your obligation. They're your brothers. Yes. They're your sisters. And far more, they're kings and queens. Yes. Vana Bankosi Yamazulu. Tatanzambe Mpungu Tolendo, Bao Oswe Mazulini, Sonini Nanini, the mighty one of the Bantu. He who neither sleeps nor slumbers. We will continue to speak these things. Do your things with your internet. We know who goes before us. Until next time, see you then. Bye-bye.